What is up y'all? Welcome back. Today we've just got a classic theme for a video. We're gonna be doing an empties video. I've been collecting my empties for about six months now. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go through them and I'm going to talk about whether I will or have repurchased them or not and why. This is a fun thing to do because reviews are reviews, but empties. I finished it. You know, you're gonna know what I really think. So let's go ahead and jump in. Oh, I get these, stop it. Like, just stop. You're supposed to be hair lights, not the stars of the show, okay? Calm down. The first thing that we're gonna talk about today, I'm just gonna get a lot of one thing out of the way, and that is the Prequel Barrier Therapy Skin Protectant Cream. I have four of these in here. So in six months, I've gone through four of them. I have two more open downstairs. <laughs> My skin is so dry, if you're new here. Hi, I'm Khaki, I have dry skin. It's like the biggest part of my personality at this point. And I got to a point where like actives just seem to piss my skin off no matter what. So what I've been doing per my friend Shelby Wilson's recommendation, because she also has, she's a creator here on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram. She also talks about how she has like a lot of, you know, periodermatitis and things like that, just very sensitive skin. And she was like, look, just use this on your whole body, your face too. And I was like, really? Really, I'm gonna use that on my face? Yes, mm-hmm. It will cure what ails you. I have no idea how, because the only key dermatological ingredient that's in here is colloidal oatmeal. There's colloidal oatmeal in the first aid beauty lotion and stuff like that, but something about this never stings my skin, never irritates my skin, and truly heals it, and if y'all are like me and during the winter or really just like anytime my skin feels like it, I have just a case of the full body itches, this will get rid of the full body itches. It doesn't have any kind of cortisone in it, no steroids or anything. It just freaking works. I mean, clearly, clearly it works because I go through it like water. So I use it on my whole body and my face and that's why I just keep going through it. All of my like skincare and all the money that I keep spending on skincare, it's all just kind of for nothing because I just end up using this and this is what works the best. Even though like prequel has come out with specific like dedicated skincare products like for your face that are meant to kind of do that, that still does a better job. And they're $18, okay? It's incredible stuff. Another thing that's in here, and this I went through obviously like not four of them because there's a lot in this and it goes a really long way, but this is the prequel Glenzer. And the Glenzer is just kind of everything. It is a 50% glycerin cleanser. And so it doesn't foam or anything. It's kind of like the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser, except it's just even simpler. It's not milky. And it is like twice as much product for like a dollar less or something like that. It's just, it's very, very good. It's constantly sold out but just keep an eye on it. And again, $18, it seems to be their favorite thing is to make things $18, which I'm all in on. pH 4.5, if you know science, maybe that makes a difference to you. But yeah, it's just a phenomenal face and body cleanser. It really took me a minute to warm up to prequel because I was like, you want me to use that on my body and my face? Like everything is like that. And the answer is just yes, because it's like, it's good enough for your face, but it's abundant enough that you don't have to be precious about it kind of the best. You know, and I really feel like there are so many brands out there right now that are like trying to make certain things really precious and then prequel comes out and all these brands are like, no, no, you're not supposed to tell them that it's inexpensive to make these products. You know what I mean? Like you're totally blowing our cover. And like prequel's like, I don't care. Give the skincare to the people. <laughs> And they are, and it's great. So there are going to be some AHA things in here, and I'm gonna go ahead and say, at least in like the short term, as far as what I've been doing for my skin lately, I have been off of all of my AHAs and actives, even on my body. And I've been seeing promising results. Like I've just been moisturizing instead of peeling. I'm sure there are gonna be people in the comments being like, yes, this is what I've been trying to tell you. You know what I mean? But like, it just kind of occurred to me one day, I was like, KP started happening after Clean Routine 2019. Clean Routine 2019 was when I started using only brands that claimed to be clean on my face, on my body, on my hair, whatever, to see if it made a difference. And I think it just completely changed my microbiome and disrupted my moisture barrier, not just on my face, but also on my body. Because after that, I couldn't use like a Bath and Body Works lotion anymore. I couldn't even use a, an Aesop lotion anymore, you know, that's got a scent to it. Everything broke me out. And I thought about it, I was like, wait a second. It didn't used to be like this. And I feel like the more I use glycolic on my body, it has stopped helping. And it's actually kind of making the KP spread. I was like, I'm just going in the wrong direction. And so what have I been using? I've been using that 
barrier repair cream from prequel and then I've been using bed sore cream all over my entire body it's only been like three nights and it's a night and day difference like it's healing my pimples my KP is almost gone I don't want to be like that person who's just like oh my god it's a miracle because I have no idea how your body works or how your skin works I just think I've been doing the exact wrong thing this whole time that's all <laughs> That's all just the exact wrong thing the whole time. So I have one, probably more than one of these in here. No, this is actually the only one of this. So this is the Drunk Elephant TLC Glycolic Body Lotion. I just haven't been using it as much because I haven't been trying to exfoliate my skin as much. I've been relying a lot more on, you know, moisturizing and barrier repair products, but this is a really, if you're looking for something that, I don't know, maybe you do have very oily skin and it's not about disruption of your moisture barrier, it's truly just about acne or about needing acceleration to your cell turnover and stuff. This glycolic body lotion is crazy effective, like so effective. So I will vouch for it. I just think for me, a person with extraordinarily dry skin, it's just doing more harm than good at this point, which is wild because this is what got rid of my KP initially, but it's like the more and more and more I've used it over time, the more I think it's just kind of reversing the effect. So I am not currently repurchasing this. I know, I know, I know. This is why we play the game. This is why we continue watching these is because I'm not always gonna say the same thing about the same products every time. <laughs> Gotta keep your toes. Now, obviously these have actives in them. And so that kind of goes against what I was saying, but also there is just the convenience of something curing a zit overnight, okay? Like it's just a nice thing to have. And I have these on backup. Not this one, I don't know. I think they sent me this one. So these are the Hero Cosmetics, Hero Cosmetics? Hero, 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 just Hero. Mighty Patch, one for blemishes and one for dark spots. And these are both, oh, the micro points. So they're really expensive. They're like a dollar a piece. Actually, they're more than that. I think this is like $13 and you get eight. So that's somebody else do the math, but that's a lot. So. What they have is 395 little micro points per patch and you mash them into the like under the skin zit for 20 seconds and the micro points go into the skin and then dissolve and it's like medicated basically and it's supposed to really help calm a huge zit overnight things like that and that's really helpful for someone like me because it's kind of like it's twofold, right? It's a quick fix in terms of me not picking it, but also it covers it up so I can't pick it. Like that's the main thing is just, I, I don't wanna pick it because I will make a freaking mess. I know me. I'm like that meme that's like skincare. Like I'm that person and I always have been. And so what this really is, it's like assurance to my brain. Like we're doing something, we're fixing it, but also it just covers it up. So I'm not gonna say that this is like 100% in line with everything that I just said about like wanting to only moisturize, but there's also the convenience of sometimes just needing to cover up a pimple. I will say while I was in the process of getting rid of my perioral dermatitis and I was only using that prequel lotion on my face, my pigmentation got pretty out of control because I wasn't doing anything to try and peel it, but I didn't have zit one. I didn't have zit one. That was what kind of led me to this conclusion, this revelation. All right, let's get the other drunk elephant products out of the way here. Oh, there's another one of those, uh, another Mighty Patch. Yeah, I got this one. You can see the actual prices on it. This is the one that I got in Chinatown when I was with Ingrid and the other ones I think were either sent to me or I bought them at like Ulta or like Amazon or something. So anyway, yeah, I do rely pretty heavily on these, but I'm also saving a lot of money not buying SkinCeutical Triple Lipid Restore 242 anymore. So, you know, six one, half a dozen of the other. I was seriously going through so many of those. I think there's one in here. Yeah, there is. This is the last one that I have even like bothered to use. This is the SkinCeuticals Triple Lipid Restore 242. It's like $150 a jar. It's completely ridiculous. And it just was like when my barrier was compromised, this stung. And I was like, that's a bad sign. I'm just like not here for that, you know? I, like, I think SkinCeuticals make some of the most beautiful products. They make a Silymarin uh, salicylic that's just like off the charts for getting rid of acne. But it also irritates my, like everything just disturbs my moisture barrier. And like, that's my primary concern right now. So yeah, I'm off of this too. Save me some money. Yeah, so like I was saying, we're gonna talk about all my drug elephant stuff real quick because do to the fact that I did disturb, disrupt, whatever, my moisture barrier and have since 2019, pretty much 
every shampoo or conditioner that has a scent to it is going to give me some kind of like horrible cystic breakout on my neck and I still get them. It's just not as bad with these because they don't have a fragrance to them. And I just like how they treat my hair. Like they're really, really clean rinsing. They make my hair still feel really lightweight. Like they never weigh it down. So this is the Coco Mino Glossing Shampoo and the Coco Mino Marula Cream Conditioner. I like these a lot. I keep using them. They're just kind of a safe thing for my hair and my skin. So that's, that's the main reason. And I meant to say, I found it's not on Sephora or Ulta, but if you go on the Drunk Elephant website, if you're a fan of the shampoo, they sell a big boy in a pump. And I bought that. I think they're having a sale, but still, just so you're not buying tons and tons of bottles of it, yeah, get the pump. Fluorosis! Okay, so I totally panned the idea of Fluorosis sending me these little individual sachets of makeup remover oil and their makeup remover oil is beautiful. They sent me the actual pump bottle after I com I didn't complain. I was just like, this is weird. Like this seems kind of like inefficient, you know? And they were like, well, we'll send you the bottle too. They're really, really nice. But I love this makeup remover oil. It's just really good. It just does a really good job and it does its job and it like, you know, turns into a milk and it rinses your makeup off. It does what it's supposed to do. And I travel a lot and I just found the sachets to be so darn convenient because one sachet lasts like three days. If you're going for a weekend, you just bring one. It's not like you're just burning through them. I don't know. I found them to be really like a million times more helpful than I expected them to be. And honestly, I mean, I travel now just with a balm, but like I would hypothetically repurchase these. Like they're really useful. I hate to say that, but they are. Ooh. Finished one of these. I do love this, especially as my barrier and everything. Like there's like things that help restore your moisture barrier. And then there are things that cosmetically make your skin look better when your barrier is compromised and when your skin is super dry. And the road milk, the glazing milk does that. It is hydrating. It's a great product, but it also is so pretty. It's so aesthetically pleasing on your face because it really makes your skin look really glowy, but it's not mm, petrolatomy. So it's like, you know, makeup can go on top of it and stuff like that. It just has this beautiful glycerin finish to it. And it is, like I said, a pretty hydrating product. Plus it's abundant. I think that there's something so great about the road products in the sense that like, it takes you forever to go through one of these and they're not that expensive. They're like $30 or something like that. And you get 4.7 ounces. Again, all the other companies, are like, don't tell them it doesn't cost that much money to make the freaking skincare. And you know, Road is out here being like, bring the skincare to the people. This brings the skincare to the people. I need more bomb, y'all. These have me by the throat. <sighs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh, chocolate dip situation. Mm. And on the road, yes, they sent me a full set right after I had just bought a whole new set. And so I think I gave the PR set to Tom. So yes, I do already have a backup that I'm working my way through. Flamingo, shave gel. I'll go to Walmart, I'll go to Target, and I'll buy myself some regular, you know, Barbasol or something like that. But like, this is just the best shaving cream. I did a sponsorship with them years ago. They were the first brand to ever pay me a thousand dollars. Like, it's amazing. I was just like, oh, they're so generous. I, Cause I, I, a sponsorship was not worth that on my channel at that point, but I was like, don't tell them. So anyway, I have been using their razors ever since. I have been using their shaving cream ever since. You order it on Amazon, I get them in bulk, whatever. And they're just great. The razor blades last so long. Follow the instructions. I don't want to be responsible for you getting a staph infection for using a razor for too long, but I'm telling you, they last so long I forget how long I've been using them kind of thing. It's like a, it's like having a mascara open. You're just like, mm -hmm. It still seems to work, it still seems fine, you know? Use your judgment, be responsible, but like they're so worth the money. I mean, they're not expensive, but like they're worth it in terms of using that versus using like, disposable razor. Disposable razors, like they use up so fast, like they stop shaving properly so fast. And those razor blades, I'm not gonna be specific. They just last a, a lot longer than they should. Either way, this is a really good shaving cream. It's a gel, but it's like, it's kind of like a foam gel. You don't have to use very much. It smells really nice. It actually makes your skin really soft. It's just a really, really good shaving cream. I actually like it. Ooh, Y'all, it's almost done. I still brought it in here. I've got probably like one more use in here. Mm -hmm. This is my Osea Onderia Algae Body Oil. I 
adore this stuff, clearly, because this is the big boy. This is the 9.6 ounce. They brought this out right before the big Credo sale when they did that surprise 20% off, not Black Friday, but the one before that. And that was like, sold, like sold, sold, because it's expensive, but it's so worth it because, you know, you get so much more. And I was burning my way through the kind of smaller ones. This took, I mean, when was that? When was that? When was, when was that? Okay, took a break had a snack, got a sweater. <laughs> I think that this lasted me six months. I think that it's safe to say that this nine, almost 10 ounce lasted me six months. It's expensive, but you can find these things on sale sometimes. And this is definitely something that I will be repurchasing. It is so lovely. If you haven't heard me gush about the Andaria Aldi body oil yet, let me go ahead and gush for you. Oh, it smells like citrus. It is like one of the best body oils in terms of, I think it would work for a lot of skin types because it doesn't just like sit on top of your skin, but it also doesn't have that kind of unsatisfying squalling feeling to it where it's like such a thin oil that you're just like, mm, I feel greasy now. Like it makes your skin look really quenched. Like it looks quenched, but it also feels quenched. And every person who I have introduced this to has fallen in love with it. So it's a real crowd pleaser. It's also a great gift. A phenomenal gift. The entire Andaria Algae line makes a great, it's a beautiful like set and they all smell kind of pleasantly of citrus in a really natural way. The only thing is, I mean, it will be, it's always the case that like when I decide to do one of these videos because I've really hit capacity on like storing my empties, that like I'm still pretty close to emptying out some other things. And one of those things is the Andaria Algae Body Butter because you go through it so fast. Like I highly recommend getting both and mixing them together because then you're kind of diluting the body butter because if I put the body butter directly on my absolutely like salt and sea dry skin, it will just eat it. It like hardly goes anywhere. And so combining the two makes them kind of greater than the sum of their parts and they both last longer. I also used to use the anti-aging body balm when I was pregnant and it's kind of got this weird texture that breaks down with like heat. I recommend this instead. The anti-aging body butter stuff, it's very expensive and it doesn't go very far at all. So I'll be repurchasing this. I will be repurchasing the body butter whenever I run out of it. And I think that they make a great duo like together. Next! Y'all saw me bonk my head. trying to retrieve this from Okay, but I'm trying to retrieve this from underneath my desk the other day. I was like, I need to spray my face. And I was like, fix plus magic radiance. And then I was like, bonk. And I was like, oh, it's empty. It wasn't even worth hitting my head about. I'm constantly hitting my head. So it's always weighing it against whether it was worth it. This is the MAC Fix Plus Magic Radiance All Day Hydrating Spray with Vitamin C. The vitamin C is neither here nor there for me. The fact is if you are really dry skin or you just love a glow, this is all of the efficacy of Fix Plus, which I think is that girl. I think Fix Plus hung the moon. I mean, until something really blows my mind and it would have to like come across my plate against my will at this point, like it would just need to arrive on my doorstep. I am probably never going to like entertain another setting mist just because Fix Plus is just, it's the one. So the magic radiance is truly just, you know, more radiant. It just leaves your skin even more glossy, even more emollient. Or <laughs> if your skin is very, very dry, it does what normal Fix Plus does for really dry winter skin. It's like a serum that you spray on top of your makeup and it'll still give you like that glossy finish. So I love it. And as far as repurchasing, whenever Ulta does, and in fact, they just did their sale. And so I think I might've missed it, but it doesn't matter because I have so many on backup. But a lot of times when they do the Ulta sale, they'll put these on like half price and I just stock up. So I have at least one more of these somewhere. And then I have two regular fix pluses like downstairs in weight. So like, we're good for now. All right, I have the Muesli Rosacea Cream. This has been a real skin savior for me because I had perioral dermatitis. Perioral dermatitis seems to be a big mystery to people. And after reading mainly Sarah James's post on it, Whirl, I realized that like, it's actually not that complicated. What it really is, is again, just a totally disrupted moisture barrier to the point that it's not so much that it's like the moisture barrier itself causes the irritation, it's just you're more prone 
to getting bacterial irritation because there's nothing protecting your skin from it. So it's like some people will get it and some people won't. And so essentially I had totally destroyed my moisture barrier by using too many actives. And I think one day I did yoga, hot yoga, and then I just like didn't shower quickly enough afterwards. Like I went and picked up lunch and it took too long and blah, blah, blah. And I just kind of sat in my own filth for too long and it just triggered it. It just went nuts. And so I did a little bit of research and then I found out that, you know, because the, uh, the oral antibiotics really weren't working like they would work but like it wasn't enough like it, they, it would still come back and I was like I can't just keep taking antibiotics this is stupid and a lot of the things that they say help it are not antibiotics they say like sulfur helps and all you know what I mean and so like I looked into what products would really help and like what was advertised to me was actually the rosacea cream from muesli so muesli also does a lot, they do a lot of stuff. They do like one of the strongest melasma treatments actives like out there. So this is not just a product that's like designed to like, oh, it's like healing your skin. Like you can really also destroy your moisture barrier with muesli products if you want to, because it is the harshest melasma active I've ever used in my life. Like I couldn't do it. Anyway, this is the rosacea treatment. And I realized after doing some reading that rosacea and perioral dermatitis differ only really in where they are on your face, <laughs> essentially. And so you kind of can treat it with rosacea treatment and it will help and it does so this came with a mask also I just haven't finished the mask but this is like just a really great topical that helped heal my skin while I was also refraining from using any other actives so this has ivermectin niacinamide sulfur actually I'm not sure this one has sulfur it's uh metronidazole and I think that it's the mask that's like very, very like sulfur rich because it truly smells like a fart. And together, they're great. They're just really good. And they, they work really well. And it made it so that yes, metronidazole, I think is considered somewhere between like an antibiotic or an antifungal, but it's like, I'm not taking an oral antibiotic. I took antibiotics a couple of years ago and it depleted my gut flora so badly. I ended up in the hospital, I mean, in the emergency room for rehydration because I like couldn't stop pooping. So like, I really just like try to <laughs> not take antibiotics if I don't have to, cause it just, super inconvenient. All that to say, this worked really well. It did in concert with the prequel products. So I really like this. And I do have another one and I use it if I ever see kind of the little bit of irritation kind of popping up here and there, I'll put it on there just as like almost a mental measure. But yeah, and you have to be careful because it's on a subscription. So it's like if you order it once, and then you wait too long, they will just send you another one. So like, you know, cancel the subscription if you only want one. So the boomers say, that's how they get you. Eh, eh. I would have to stick my fingernail in there, but this is an empty YSL candy glaze. Now going to be the YSL Love Shine Candy Glaze. No comment. And by no comment, I mean I had all the comments in my last video. This is one of my favorite products in the whole world. I already have another one. It's living in my purse right now. And I still, I have the holiday packaging as well somewhere in my house and I will find it someday, but I have not found it yet. In the meantime, I do already have another one of these in my purse. The first one that I emptied, I actually saw somebody say like on TikTok that they had like drilled through the bottom and like been able to like push the bullet up or whatever. And there was like a lot more product. That might've been true for some YSL lipsticks, but it wasn't true for this one, but it was fun just pulling out the drill and drilling into a lipstick bullet. Like that was entertaining at least, but there is not more product in there. It's just kind of, it's like, it's it, the bottom's right there. Now, I say now, like, you know what I already just pulled out. This is the Kosa's Fragrance Free Chemistry AHA Serum Deodorant. Now I do love an AHA deodorant. It's the only thing that works for me because AHAs are going to both cancel out, cancel out, kill bacteria that makes you stinky, but also they kind of gently chemically exfoliate your underarms, which is awesome. It helps with ingrown hairs. It helps with like that darkening that can happen underneath your arms from shaving. If you're prone to that, this makes a huge difference. But while this works amazingly well and I will continue to repurchase it whenever I run out, there are a lot of brands who have jumped on the bandwagon of putting mandelic acid, which is the main AHA in this. I think it has more than one, but I think mandelic acid is the main one. Other brands have started making mandelic acid deodorants. I know Necessaire has had one for a while. The Necessaire uh, package is really lovely, but I burned through it a lot quicker. And then also Saltaire, Salt Air, Saltaire. They're at Target. 
and they put out a bunch of them and they sent me a PR package of all of them of like four different fragrances and they're lovely. The Santal one is so excellent. I like pretty much all of them. I think there's like one that's like a little too fruity for me, but like the orange lid, the blue lid, and the kind of like off-white cream colored lid, they're all incredible. I don't even know how much they retail for, but if they're at Target, they can't be that expensive and they work really, really well. I don't know if they have an unscented one. I'm gonna assume that they do, but that's why I started using the Kosas originally was because I was like trying out all of these natural deodorants and I was like, I don't want your smoke and mirrors. Don't cover the smell up. I wanna know if it really works. And that's how I know that the AHAs truly neutralize the stink is like I've been using an unscented one for so long, it really works. So then I was okay introducing some that have like a little bit of a fragrance to them. And they're kind of fun. They're kind of nice, you know? It's, a little, it's like a little mood thing. Like I just, you know, pick one, it's fun. Ooh, this took a really long time to work my way through. This is actually really funny in terms of PR because I don't know what autofill wires got crossed at some point, but like Dermatology, this brand right here, they never, ask me for my information. They must have a PR company that like has my address and is sending things to me. These are the brightening eye masks. So they're these really cute, I'll put a picture in of me wearing them, like these eye masks and I keep them in the fridge and I use them like almost every morning. They're just really, really good. I love having those around. They're very effective and they're easier than wearing a sheet mask sometimes if I like wanna have my coffee. It's hard to drink coffee with a sheet mask on. But brands send them to me all the time. So I probably won't repurchase these. I've got some from Pure sitting right there. I have um, some K-Beauty ones down in the fridge right now, and they're all great. You know what I mean? Like I've never met one that I didn't like. Either way, what I was saying about dermatology is like when they send me things, they're addressed to Ana Luisa. I have no idea how that happened. I'm like, what? Me? But Ana, did it? I don't understand how it happened. Really the first time it happened, I thought that they meant like someone at Ana Luisa had accidentally put my address in for their dermatology order or something. I have no idea how that happened, but when they arrive at my house, they're addressed to my house, but to Ana Luisa, as if that's my name. Ana Luisa, by the way, if you're new, is like the jewelry company that has sponsored me for years. So <laughs> it's like, I don't know, but these are great. They're great. I would totally repurchase them if I didn't already have like two other companies having sent them to me recently. Ooh, finished one of these. This is the Bloom Effects Tulip Dew Vitamins and Mineral Broad Spectrum SPF 50. I wanna say this like took me, God, almost a year to get through. It's a lot of freaking product. 1.86 fluid ounces of the most delightful sunscreen you've ever used. It is so dewy. It's wild. You just like keep rubbing it in, rubbing it in, rubbing it in, rubbing it in. It has a little bit of like a natural tint to it. See, it's got a little, there's a hair in there. I don't know how that happened. Ew, we're just all gonna pretend that didn't happen. At least it's my hair. So if you are unfamiliar with Bloom Effects, you might see them in Blue Mercury or I think they're on Credo. I think they sell them at like, you know, Neiman's or Nordstrom or something like that. I went to the Bloom Effects farms a year ago to see the Tulip Bloom and it's incredible. And what they actually do at Bloom Effects is they use all of the parts of the tulip that would be disposed of. So it's actually like upcycling the waste from a tulip farm that essentially what they do is they make bulbs for shipment. They're not actually selling the flowers. So it's really funny. They have this tulip bloom season and then they have this machine that goes and just lops all the heads off of all of the tulips. And so they'll use those petals in some things and then they use the rejected bulbs that aren't like pretty enough to sell that would have just gotten thrown away. And that's what they use to make the skincare. And so the way that they found out that this even works is basically like an, I, you know, it's tulip season right now. So I'm buying a lot of tulips and I'll stick a picture in of like what my tulips look like right now because when I put them in the vase, they were all the same height. I mean, relatively, you know what I mean? I did my best. And then you see how some are like wildly taller than others. And that's because tulips have regenerative properties and then like four times as many of these active ingredients in them as like a rose, which is like what they use in so much other skincare. Tulips have like a ton more of it. And so they actually got a research grant from the Netherlands, from the country of the Netherlands, because this is all, you know, in Amsterdam. And they isolated the active ingredients that like make them regenerate and they put that in the skincare. 
So it's like, that's literally like, it's truly regenerative skincare. That's what it does for your skin. You should see the owner, Kim. I think she turned 41 this year. She looks younger than me. <laughs> she looks amazing. And their skincare has just always been like the gentlest, most effective, loveliest stuff. And especially when I was really struggling with uh, perioral dermatitis, this is just a fantastic sunscreen because everything about it is just like so gentle. So that's my spiel. Oh, I also have, I think 15% off, maybe 20% off. My code is just, I think it's just khaki. Just stick it in a checkout and see what you get. <laughs> but yes, I have backups of this. All right, and the last thing that's in here, I've already talked about it recently, but I just wanted to show y'all my empty father figure. This makes me really happy. There's like a teeny tiny bit in there. Let's see, a little tiny bit. Yeah, that's, that's done. So this is about as close as it gets to me having a signature scent, which uh, the idea of a signature scent for me is hilarious because my perfume collection has just exploded. I have bought a lot of perfumes and I've been excited about a lot of perfumes, but also a lot of companies have started sending me perfumes that I've ended up falling in love with. And Father Figure was one of them. It was really funny. There was like this feeling that I had. I just knew when I saw this come out that it was gonna be my favorite smell. I didn't even smell it before I asked Fleur to send it to me because I've had like a long relationship with Fleur because I lived in Austin and they're from Austin and like I toured their facilities back in the day before they did the rebrand and da 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 da. And I was just like, look, I've always been a huge fan of your brand. Is there any way I can get father figure? And they're also in the same PR company as like Saltaire and like Naturium and other, other companies. And so I think that, you know, it was like, oh, okay, yeah, sure, absolutely. Like opt you in. And so they sent me this one. <laughs> but I bought this one because I needed to have it with me at all times. <laughs> you know, like this was like a really nice thing that they did and obviously I'm working my way through it very, very quickly, but I went ahead and bought the travel size because it was just something that like, I didn't want to like not be able to reapply on the go. Like I was just such a huge fan of it. And so on the New Orleans trip, Basically, it was like, I, I would be like standing outside of a restaurant or like waiting to go in or whatever. Kiki's like, oh, wait, what? what is that? And she's like, oh my God, it's you. What is that? She's like, I don't ever like perfume. What is that? And I like pull it out of my purse and she's like, oh my God. And like that happened enough times with enough people that like, you know, I had maybe like this much left and like we just smoked it while I was in New Orleans. So during the Sephora sale, <laughs> you get a new one. <laughs> because it's important to me. I will say Moodering has like at least come to the same level as father figure in terms of how much I love it. So I'm kind of also on that quite a bit and I have the travel size and the full size of that one as well. Strawberry letter is beautiful, but it's like not as much my thing. And I'm really excited to smell those uh, new body sprays. They look amazing. And then I actually have fallen in love with the body oil of Missing Person. I really feel like Missing Person like didn't quite make sense to me as a spray, but now that it's like a perfume oil and a body oil, it's supposed to be such a close, intimate fragrance. It makes so much sense in that delivery system that they really got me on that one too. And it's just so wild that like a brand gets me on so many fragrances because it's like usually, God, I mean, even commodity. I'll wear gold, but I kind of don't really love all the other ones kind of thing. You know, or like, I'll like one Gucci fragrance or I'll like one Dior fragrance, one Hermes fragrance. It's like not usually, like all the Born and Romas, I smelled all of those at Ulta yesterday because I love Green Stravaganza, but all the Donna Born and Romas, none of them, none of them was my vibe. Like they're just completely different from Green Stravaganza. And so it's just so wild that like Fleur is a company where every time they put something out, I'm like, yeah, they're, I mean, they're, I think they're gonna handle that really well. Like that whole, you know, scent profile is probably going to be handled expertly and I'm probably gonna love it no matter what. I just can't believe their success rate <laughs> in terms of like what appeals to me. So Fleur has got, you know, like I said, I'm a simp. I'm an absolute simp for Fleur. Like if they don't send me stuff, I'll just buy it. I don't care. It's, it's just good and it makes me really happy. So those are my empties, y'all. I love a good empties video. I mean, it cleanses my spirit a little bit, cleans out my cabinet, but also it's just so nice to check in every once in a while on the more mundane, right? The things that I kind of touch on here and there, but I don't necessarily get to talk about because it's like, why am I gonna talk about like a body lotion every single day? I'm probably not going to, but those are the things that are like truly the underpinning of my survival at this point, like those lotions. So it's important for me to get the opportunity to share those. And I hope that it is also valuable information for you. If you found this fun, exciting, entertaining, or a great way to waste your time, please do give the video a thumbs up. If you want to continue wasting your time with me, you should go ahead and subscribe because that's what I'm good for. And I'll put a video here that I think you're going to enjoy. If you liked this one, you should watch it next and just keep on going. Just keep the chaos rolling. 
Thank you to all of my current subscribers. I love y'all so very, very much. I really, really do. I appreciate you. I appreciate just the quality of our comment section. It's just so excellent. Y'all really brighten my life. So thank you for being here and I will hopefully see y'all in the next one. Bye.